In the underground, there is always someone that astounds me, and it happens again and again and again. But when you come across an artist that makes an entertaining piece of work, and they always switch up the style, they can bring you back for more every time. Amethyst is an artist that is exactly like that. Her rapping style switches, and it, the only thing that I can think of immediately that fits in with how her style is, based off of the other people that I've listened to, is Wildcard. But she's just tapping on all different types of markets with her songs. Coming into this record, I had no idea what to expect outside of hearing Under the Tide, which has Mixie on it, and Icky Vicky Parts 1 and 2. Her music, to me, was still a mystery. I hadn't really dived into her other projects, and I kind of feel like I've, like, left myself in the dark on that, but it left me wanting more regardless. So hearing this project come out of the blue was totally awesome. And there's not a single dull moment on this record. Start to finish, it is attention grabbing, it's interesting, but if you're not a fan of someone that is in the underground or wants to try and break those barriers of being you know, genre bending, as I've been calling it, and others have been calling it, it's, it's not for you. If you don't like people that scream, it's not for you. If you don't like someone that has that guttural growl in their voice, it's not for you. But if you want someone that switches up their delivery on every song, there isn't a single thing on here that has turned me away. I haven't listened to one song on here and thought, man, that, that's not that good. You go from songs like Windex, Beast, Send for Help, Lost Cause. It, there's so many good songs on this record, I honestly think the entire thing is damn near perfect. If it was a concept album, I think that's the only thing that's leaving me from giving it like a perfect idea in my head. But... I would have to say it's almost a concept album because of the different aspects of Medusa herself. But that's just me. I'm a simple music listener and I review these things. But coming into this, she produces the intro, the interlude, and the outro. There have been EPs that she has released on her own that includes her production. And her production is not to be scoffed at. She is a very talented producer, and she could single-handedly put out a project that has all of her beats if she has already. I'm sorry, Amethyst, I did not look that far into your discography. But the people that she has recruited for the production on this, Escry, Misery, um, Lester, they've done a phenomenal job on the production, and she handpicked these beats. So seeing that she took the time to craft and deliver each one of these songs in a different manner shows that she cares about this record. So if she cares about this one, she has to care about all of her records. And hearing Under the Tide and how influenced she was to make that a whole song with no bridge of style that it basically led from her to Mixie and then the song ended... It was beautiful. And Icky Vicky is something that basically throws her into the I can rap too, asshole, category. Because there's so many people nowadays that say, oh, female rap's totally different. All they do is this, that, and the third. Like, yes, that's understandable. But you need to bridge that gap. Female rappers are rappers. Everybody has talent. If you throw yourself out there as a rapper, you're a rapper. It doesn't matter anymore. We're not trying to have that sub-genre bullshit. It, if you're a rapper that just so happens to be a girl, okay. If you're a rapper that happens to be whatever, you're, you're a rapper. It doesn't matter. Amethyst, you've done a phenomenal job with this project. I will be looking forward to whatever it is you bring out in the future, whether it's a mix, a production album, a solo album, a collaboration album, it doesn't matter. I highly recommend you guys listen to this because I was floored the whole time. And seeing someone switch up their style on almost every song is, it's so few and far between nowadays. There's normally people that just stick with that one style and then they switch it up once and then it makes me clamor to them doing something different. But as a whole, this project is stellar. 
It's damn near perfect outside of me probably holding back the idea of it actually being a Medusa type of album. That generic 80s mythos is just something that I, I clamored to as a child. I don't know why, but it was really good. Highly recommend you guys listen to it. Um, and I think that's all I have to say on this record. Tune in next week when I review the new Progress EP, Hopeless. Um, enjoy your weekend. Stay selfish. Tune in maybe Tuesday for a little happy update. And I'll see you guys then. Peace.